Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do variables. Um, so under new project here, I'm going to go to variables and we're going to make a new variable called number. Okay, and we'll just call it number for right now. Um, so what we're going to do is variables help us uh, make our code better and make it uh, more customizable. So for example, right now, let's say I want to jump up in this air 10 units, right? So let's go back into the ground. I say I want to jump, jump, it teleports me up 10 spots, right? Um, if I want to change this, I have to go command and then, or C and then change it here, right? And then I can jump up 20 now, right? But if you are need to do something quickly, that may not be the best way to do it. So we're going to push C again here. And now instead of typing 20, we're going to make it a variable. So we're going to add this number here. Go to variables and add this number here. So number one, number one, make sure it's the same variable. So now when I type the command jump and then a number, it's going to automatically put that here. Okay, so now I'm running and let's say I need to get up on something. Jump and 30. I teleport up 30 units and I fell back down, right? I can make it go a little farther, farther now. Jump 100. And now I teleport up 100 units, right? You may want to do, you probably don't want to do this in survival mode, but you get the idea, right? So let's say I'm running this way and I see, oh, there's some enemies over there. Those horses are going to come get me, right? If I push command, and obviously you wouldn't do this before, but let's make this, uh, let's add a variable here. Um, let's add another number. Okay, add another number. So now I'm going to drag this number over here and then go to variables and here's another number, right? So now we can teleport an X and we can teleport a Y just by putting in the variables here, okay? So we push play. All right, oh no, I gotta get away from those horses. Jump, 110. So now I teleport way over here and those horses way over there can't get me. So now I'm safe, right? So this could be very useful in like a combat situation if you need to get somewhere very quickly and you just wanna type where you want to go, okay? Let's head back over there. Um, it's also good for commands that you already have existing. You can customize how big you want your home to be or how big your stairs or how big your tunnel to be. Okay, so let's open up my code deck here again. So for example, let me go to my other project here. Um, it is under here. Okay, so this command, um, I have a house command, right? So I put, I set the inventory. Um, here's where they actually make the house, place the house, and then here's the number of walls. So repeat four times, he does this four times, makes these four walls. But rather than um, just being stuck at a, a level of four or 10 or whatever I want to do, I can make it a variable. So it changes to number one. See, I want to make sure that these numbers are the same, right? So I type house and a number, it's going to make this the exact same, right? So I push play. All right, so let's do let's do a house of let's start small house of three. All right, there he is. Now he's making a little baby house of three. Right, um, he left a hole from here for me because usually he would go around and step back in place, but there's a block there, so this is convenient enough to just gives me a little house, a little door here. Um, but let's say I want to make a bigger house, right, on the fly. So I type house and ten. All right, so there he goes making a bigger house. He might run into that wall there. But you get the idea, right? So let me go over here a little farther. I'm flying in the air, so he's gonna make a house in the air. But just so to tell you, to show you what, what it's gonna do. So house, now he's doing 12 units. Um, if you make it too big, remember you only have an inventory of 64, so don't make it too big. And if you do, you have to keep refilling your inventory um, to make the house, right? So obviously just the first level, but then I can either um, repeat it manually or I can um, have the robot do it for me, okay? Obviously, because I want to make a house that's taller, not just a one block thing, okay? You can also use it to repeat commands you already have, right? So this is a stair command I already have, right? And usually I had just a staircase of, of four, right? But rather than me change that number each time, I'll add that variable again, right? So when I type stairs, he will start making the stairs, okay? And you notice, if I type stairs, 
nothing happened, right? Because I didn't put a number. Stairs, and let's try a stair five. There we go. Now he makes a stair five, and now I can follow him up and go to wherever I need to go, right? So this is a quick example of how you can use variables, and I would like for you to either modify your previous code and add it, or think of new ways you can use variables to create things. All right? Awesome.